Baltimore Junior Academy receives a $2.2 million facelift. Pine Forge Academy students receive a visit from their fairy godmother. And the Office of Education hosts its annual spelling bee. These stories and more coming up on AEC Today. Welcome to AEC Today, news from your schools, your churches, your conference. We're outside of Baltimore Junior Academy with Principal Carol Cantu, where something very special is going on behind us. Why don't you tell them what's going on? <laughs> We're at the beginning of a major renovation from our roof all the way to the basement, ceilings, floors. Everything changed, cleaned, renovated, remodeled. It's gonna, it, this is May, it started May 16th. Actually started a week before that. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna go on until mid-September. Wow. Just making the school new, changing our heating, air conditioning systems, changing all of our windows, all of our doors, removing those um, window units, um, everything, every stitch of everything is packed so that it can be moved out of the building and then it's going to all have to come back in. Wow. But we're at the beginning of the renovation right now. Okay, so AEC's own Extreme Makeover is taking place. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> school edition. Yes. <laughs> How about we go inside and take a look okay. what's going on? Peak, Baltimore Junior Academy had over 250 students enrolled. In recent years, enrollment has dropped to as low as 47. And with the challenge of operating with such a low enrollment, the school suffered tremendous financial deficits, which prevented them from maintaining critical school needs. For the past few weeks, BJA's faculty, staff, and volunteers have been packing up their classrooms and offices in preparation for the work crew's arrival. The $2.2 million makeover will include a new roof, new air conditioning and heating system, as well as new windows, doors, floor tiles, ceiling tiles, and a remodeled office and much more. The cramped offices and reception area will be opened up and provide more storage. BJA will also expand outside the building. Commonweal secured the land behind the school where several abandoned homes now sit. They will be torn down to provide more activity space for the school. In addition to the physical renovations, BJA will also receive assistance with public relations, staff development, and the implementation of tutors. The school building closed on Friday, May 16th to allow workers to have complete access to the building. But students were on spring break from May 19th to the 23rd and participated in outdoor school during their final week. Renovations are scheduled to be completed by early September in time for a fresh new start and a fresh new building for the school year. Hello, I'm Pastor Dr. Mark A. McCleary, the, 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 the senior the, the, pastor the, the, of the Liberty Seventh-day Adventist Church, Windsor Mill, Maryland. Church. You're watching AEC in the Today. It's not a pass or fail. On April the 6th, the Office of Education held its annual Regional Spelling Bee at the Conference Center in Pine Forge. Participants were selected to represent their school at the regionals based on their placement in a local spelling bee. To prepare for the conference-wide bee, they received the rules, the definition of roles, as well as their word lists. The winners for primary category, which is grades K through 3, were first place to Taylor Salmon of G.E. Peters Adventist School. Second place to Maya Newman, also of GE Peters, and third place to Jamal Nelson from Calvary Adventist School. In the intermediate category, which are grades four through eight, first place went to Madeline Kabiko from DuPont Park Adventist School. Second place to Janelia Golden from Wilbert F. Mays, and third place to Janae Witted from GE Peters. First place winners received $100, second place $75, and third place $50. DuPont Park Adventist School was declared the 2014 Spelling Bee Champions, which warranted them to receive a two-foot championship trophy that will be housed at DuPont Park until the next bee. 
I am Dr. Paula Olivier. I am the pastor of the First Seventh-day Adventist Church of Montclair, and you are watching AEC Today. Pine Forge Academy held its annual Junior Senior Banquet on Sunday, April the 27th. Parents, grandparents, and classmates gathered to watch the promenade as the junior and senior ladies were announced and presented to their escorts for the evening. Superintendent Judy Dent attended as the fairy godmother. A horse-drawn carriage was present for some couples to enjoy a ride prior to heading off to the Radisson Hotel for the banquet. The theme was A Night to Remember, and the program featured Swagga Cinderella and a debutante choreographed waltz competition, which was choreographed by Delmas Campbell. All right, you've heard about some of the things we've already had going on in Allegheny East. Now you're going to hear about some things we have coming up. From June 2nd through the 5th, AEC's ACS department, our Community Service Department, will host the NAD's Nonprofit Leadership Certification Program. It's entitled Completing the Puzzle of Community Development. Although registration has closed for the event, you can still view information on the ACS page. The Delaware Valley will be hosting their annual Unity Day on June 7th. That will be right here under the pavilion. The theme is, What Shall I Render? Special speaker is Dr. Clifford R. Jones, and we also have a musical guest, Ms. Angela Bryant-Brown. Following the service, a fellowship lunch will be served in Kimber Hall Cafeteria as well as Pine Forge Church. After you eat, you'll come back for the afternoon program, which starts at 4 o'clock, and then a concert at 6 o'clock. We also have the elders retreat that's coming up June the 13th through the 15th. We will host all of our elders right here. The theme is striving together for the faith of the gospel. Presenters include Pastor William Hall, Elder Sherry Hall, Pastor Marcus Harris, and our own ministerial director, Stephen Richardson. You can contact Ms. Gwen Norwood for more information. Her number is 610-326-4610 and her extension is 314. And once again, we wanna say congratulations to all of our graduates. We're so proud of your accomplishments. Keep up the good work. And we can't help but mention camp meeting that's coming up June the 26th through July 6th. And we have our pre-camp meeting episodes that we're getting ready for. You can view those in June where you'll receive more information about what you can expect this year at our camp meeting, which is the theme is 7 till midnight. So you don't want to miss that. Stay tuned for the next episode of AEC Today. Thanks for joining us.